I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today's guest is Keita. He's a ski instructor who has worked in Niseko for the last two seasons and he happened to walk into Powder Life Cafe when we were setting up for Nick's interview. I'd never met him before but I asked him if he'd be keen to do an interview and he said when and I said today if you don't mind and he said yes which was great and it turned out to be a really interesting interview. I started out by asking Keita how long he's been a ski instructor. I did two years before, one year was in Usutsu and last year here. Kia ora in stick news today, for the first time ever, a Twitter user has one million followers. Twitter is a website where users send tweets and have followers. The first person to ever have one million followers was an American actor called Ashton. He said he originally used Twitter as a tool to feed his ego, but then he realized he could use the service to make a difference and effectively change the world. And that was Stick News for Monday the 20th of April. Kia ora. What do you enjoy about your job? How do you find customers? Do you teach in English as well as Japanese? Is that difficult? How did you learn English? What kind of farm was it? Where did you go in Australia? Have you spent time in any other countries? Why Tennessee? Did you notice a big difference between the English in Australia and America? How long did you stay there? Do you have any advice for people who are learning English? What helped your English the most? Why did you choose Notting Hill? To know people can get happy and I started by my own so I can learn um, about the business, like mm. yeah, like from the beginning to teach. Mm. That's good experience mm. for everything to start my own business. I have some friends who works in a lodge, so I can put my um, stuff there or I can give my card to my friend and if my friend recommend me uh, introduce me to some people who wants to learn ski and snowboarding um, I pay some commission to my friends or a lodge and yeah many uh, or I put my card to some place and somebody just pick, pick it up and call me yeah that was difficult, but I did last year, so I have some experience. Uh, I was in Australia for a year. I studied three months in, in a school, but uh, I'm not good at sitting on a chair a long time, so I didn't learn a lot of English there. But after three months, I started working in a farm. And um, in a farm, I don't... I didn't understand what they talk about because they speak so fast in Australian accent. Mm. <laughs> so, but after I finished farming, um, I went back to city, and my ears got used to listen the language English in the city. So, picking up little by little. Um, so many things, olives and uh, planting trees and banana farms and yeah. Started from past 
and went up to Broome and Darwin, Cairns, Brisbane and Sydney. Yeah, um, last year I went to India. Uh, no, two years before. India and Thailand for three months. Mm. And last year I went to the United States, Tennessee, mm -hmm. where Jack Daniels is from. Because my ex-girlfriend was there, I stayed their family. Was their family. Yeah, I had some confidence to speak some English, but the people in Tennessee, yeah, I couldn't understand at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I got used to. Three months. Just uh, try to communicate whatever. Mm -hmm. Eye to eye. Mm -hmm. If we don't give up, you get it. What I did at the first is listening to the tapes from movie. When I was in Australia, my friend gave me advice to listen the tapes from movie. I used to listen Notting Hill, like when I sleep every night. Then. Um, yeah, I started picking up one word, and next time another word, next time another word. And I was excited to watch the movie because all the time I was imagining what the thing is, and yeah. Because the guy who recommended me to listen to the tape used to listen to Notting Hill, and I liked Julia Roberts, and I liked the movie. So. True or false, Keita has never taught people skiing or snowboarding in English. False. He said he studied English for three months at a school in Australia. True. Last year he went to Tennessee. True. He said the English in Tennessee sounded the same as the English in Australia. False. He said that listening to the movie Notting Hill helped his English. True. And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.